So, um, yeah, so I'm just leaving Planet Fitness. I went and got some propane gas for my RV and for my, you know, for Shooting Star. And I got my propane working on my refrigerator. I probably didn't mention it, but I couldn't, my propane wouldn't work on my refrigerator. It would not switch over to propane. It would only work on electric. So, you know, I kept turning my generator on. That's why I wanted to make sure I got some gasoline for my generator. And um, I kept put my having to put my generator on. And fortunately for me, I was able to plug in where I'm staying. And, you know, I had some power. So, yesterday I messed around with it. I went on YouTube and, you know, YouTube is very informational. And I finally found the answer. Well, I'd heard this before. I think it was my sister told me that this has happened to her. So, I, um, but I, it was, it just, I couldn't Power find plug. the flu. So, I finally found the flu. They put the flu, this little this little uh, door, I'll call it a door, that covers the hole is, is where the, the for flu. the flu in Go on the outside of your camper. You take off the plate, real easy. And I swept all the, you know, the debris that had gathered in there, maybe from you know driving down the road, it gets in there, whatever. And um, so I cleaned all that out, and but I couldn't. I'm like, where the heck is, I couldn't figure it out because this thing wouldn't move. Well, finally, they used the wrong kind of um, tool or, you know, they didn't use a screw, a proper, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, you know, a piece of apparatus to put the flu on because it was so tight, you can't move it back and forth to look in there. Well, finally, you know, I just kind of kept working on it a little bit and I, I got to the, move the flu over and I blew some air in there. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to say it. Yep. So I just blew in there and like all these little particles came out and then I went inside and I hit the on button and whoo, it just ignited yep so you got to check your flu so now I am on my way oh today's just a good day it's just a good day you know it must be God it's God's day maybe because I prayed or whatever I don't know but this is what else happened to me today I've been trying you know I have thousand trails membership and I have boondockers welcome okay and then I have my National Park Pass. So, I have been trying, oh, plus I belong to the moose. I'm a woman of the moose. So I have been trying to get a more days at the RV um, campground in the Keys. I was only able to get two days at the Trails Collection Park in, in the Keys. So and there's two parks in the Keys and I could stay for 14 days, but I only was able to get two days. Everything else was, um, was booked up. I went on there today and I tried to extend my stay. At first I tried to get in earlier. No, no, nothing, no, wasn't gonna happen. It said that they didn't have anything available. So then I added days afterwards and um, I did like one day at a time because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't know what I could. First, I tried one day and it approved it. And I thought, well, what the heck? I'll see about another day. So I tried with the second day. Well, I was able to get four more days in the Keys in addition to my original reservation that was only two days. <laughs> so now I got six days in the Keys. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to go back to the Keys and do some things there that I didn't get to do last time I was there. Key West or bust. Oh good, right up front. Nice spot. 
God, a spot, park is spot right up. I'm gonna go to Publix, which is the, the local grocery store here. It's like your big, it's your big grocery store. So if you have, like, if Albertsons is your big grocery store, in where you live, well then, you know that's what Publix is. If, um, in Illinois we used to have Dominic's and Jewel, and this is like going to Jewel. It's your big grocery store. So that's where I'm gonna go. I need to stop here, pick up a few items. Well, there were 10 and now we're down to eight with the schoolie pulling in over here. Beautiful inside. They're just pulling in and they're going to the schoolie gathering here in Florida, in Melrose, Florida, because they got kicked out of Ocala. Schoolie squash, I think they call it. And it's gonna be in Melrose, Florida. And we got the barbecue going over here, but RV Rebel Girl's gonna be pulling out. And our gracious hostess, she takes pictures of everybody who stays, all the families for her book. And I'll be pulling okay, out here, so Danny and I. You guys are good. Yep, Boondockers and welcome. Gonna miss this place. Well, we're hitting the road. Key West, here we come. Thanks, Boondockers welcome. Thank you for your hospitality. We'll see you next time. for a couple of days so I just passed this little motel and when I lived here and my friend and I used to drive out this way we used to call that the Bates Motel you know like in cycle yeah it reminded us of that something like spooky you know because it's like way out here in the middle of nowhere the area that I'm driving through is all orchards, uh, avocados, oranges, grapefruits, tomatoes, and Immokalee, um, Florida is very well known in this area for having all the tomato fields and the f vegetables and fruits, yeah. So, in addition to, there's a bunch of cattle out here. Lots and lots of cattle out here. Oh, no, Danny's in the back. And um, I left my boondocker welcome K 
campsite. Very grateful to my host there. Never made it to a beach, but I'm headed to the beach now. I need some beach and some vitamin D. I need to sit in the sun and get some vitamin D. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to camp at this casino tonight because they only have spaces for 10 campers. Although they have a very big parking lot, they don't allow more than 10 rigs in their parking area. And um, they are open also, they're open for business. The state of Florida is not closed. First come, first serve. Can't make reservation. There's 10 spots. Hopefully, there's one with my name on it. <laughs> I've been there before. And if you look back, I did a video when I was there before of this big, weird looking truck camper. Yeah. It was obviously a build out, you know, somebody built it out themselves, but it was pretty neat. There's an RV behind me, and I'm sure it's a big Class A, and I'm sure it's going the same place I'm going. Oh, it's a big travel trailer. Oh, baby, I gotta get there before he does, and I gotta get the spot before he does so that I can get a spot. Because, like I said, there's only 10 spots, so I'm almost there. So I'm just like around the corner. Your destination is ahead on the left. Don't want this semi driver to. Hope I get the spot. Wish me luck. I don't want him to take the last spot. Or I'll be stuck. Whew. He went the other way, he kept going. So he's not coming here. And I missed the back uh, gate entrance. This guy's taking forever. Wow, they got a lot of things marked off. One, two. I see two. Oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. I only see two rigs back there. box right there. Free electric hookup. Just need to get even. Well, I made it and I did get a spot. So I'm going to go in and get my parking pass to put in my window. Rebel watchers and YouTubers, good morning. Well, I'm going to leave the casino. Um, I could stay here another day, but I'm actually just sitting in my camper, uh, kind of recharging. And um, I haven't put a video out in almost a week, but I'll, I'll be putting one out now today, which is Thursday. Thursday night maybe or Friday morning so uh, uh, too many us huh Danny and I are getting on the road back on the road and heading south continue our travels to Key West and it's 80 degrees it's beautiful absolutely beautiful out I'm going to go ahead and set my navigation. It 
won't let me do it while I'm driving, so I have to stop. Here we go, we're on our way. Seatbelt. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. Thanks, Abby, Please I will. Proceed. There you go, a camo car. <laughs> oh, wow. Go figure. Hey, everybody. I am on Alligator Alley. Yes, Alligator Alley. For those of you maybe out of the country from other places far away who have never heard of it, this is Alligator Alley. And um, I am in the area of the Big Cypress National Preserve. Yes, the Big Cypress National Preserve. And there is area, areas where you can camp here in Big Cypress. And I'm going to stop up here about six miles at the rest area, top off my gas tank. But back in the day, this was a two-lane road just two lanes, one each way, and you didn't want to get stuck on the side of the road here because there are alligators. You didn't want to go off the road into the grassy area because of the alligators. And there's big fences all the way down this roadway. And in many areas, you'll see that along the air where the fences are, it actually has water, like ditches with water. And you could usually see the alligators just in the water, <laughs> and lots of them, especially during mating season. This is a rest stop off to the right. And there's one on each side of the road. It's a rest area. An alligator alley will take you across the state of Florida from the Gulf Coast to the East Coast. So we just entered the Miccosukee Indian Reservation area, Miccosukee, and there's going to be a rest stop up here. I call it here on Alligator Alley because before there was nothing here. So one thing you always got to be careful of is going through this area, the Miccosukee Indian Tribe or Miccosukee Police Department. is very proactive. In one quarter mile, turn right onto State Route 84 and then make a U-turn. In 300 feet, make a U-turn. What? Make a U-turn now and then turn left. It may not be here anymore. And there's truck parking here if you needed to stop. There's a Mukasuki police right now and they go and they sit out there on the interstate so I stopped to dump my garbage and back here 
in back of the gas station where they have it. This is also a truck stop. Uh, check out the turkeys back here. Wild turkeys. Not like glicker. That one's looking around.
Okay, I'm pulling into the Cracker Barrel in Homestead. And I have camped here before. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down 